Uh, my name is Christine Richards, and I'm the research director here at Z Prime. And I'll be your host today for this afternoon's ETS EDU event. And we're really excited about this event. Um, really a good opportunity to get some different people together to talk about some of the challenges within energy education and talk about some steps for, for moving forward. So I wanted to take a little bit of time today to talk about uh, you know, why we pulled this event together, uh, what we hope to discuss during this event, and what we're looking to get out of the event. So really, to, to begin, um, we found that within the energy industry, particularly power, I mean, there are a lot of different things that are going on right now, a lot of really interesting things that are happening. You have smart meters, you have smart grids, you have electric vehicles, renewable power. I mean, there's all sorts of technology out there that's going on to the grid today. And we really need people who are you know, qualified to, to be working in these systems. But the energy industry is really struggling. Utility companies are having a hard time finding enough qualified employees to take on some of these areas, some of these different technologies. Some of our recent research, we found that um, we have a rural smart grid survey that we do that looks at rural electric cooperatives. And we found that you know, well over 50% of them feel that you know, they don't have enough qualified employees for their organization, particularly in engineering and IT areas. We found that's the same case for municipal utility companies. So city, essentially city-owned utilities, you know, they're, they're struggling. Two-thirds of them said, you know, we need people that have expertise with systems integration and data analytics. So you know, a lot of needs are out there. And we have, we've also found that it's true in water, with water utility companies. Now we found with a study there that about 20% of companies really felt that you know, they needed more tech-savvy uh, workforce and, and tech-savvy employees. Now with water, you know, we think that number is a little bit lower just because they haven't moved quite as far along and in terms of advancing their grid and using some of these more advanced technologies out there, but we feel that that's coming for water as well. So what we wanted to do today is, is really get together and have that conversation around you know, what can we do to you know, start bringing um, qualified students and, and future workers into the energy industry. And what we've realized is that you know, it's not just education, it's not just business, you know, we really need to have a conversation that brings those different areas together. And I think we've also realized that it's not just about um, you know, professors and educators, but students as well. So we're really excited to have um, some student panelists here today to talk about you know, what they're seeing in, in energy and why, why they're interested in that, that space. And also just to bring together that conversation around that it's, it's not just a, a university effort. Um, this is something that needs to happen throughout a lot of different parts of, of education. Uh, at our event, an ETS event we did in Raleigh in November, we found we had Dr. Jim Goodnight there, who's the founder and CEO of SAS. And he came in and said, you know, it's, it's not just about college. We really have to focus at that K through 12 level. Um, we also had the Dean of Engineering, uh, Dr. Martin Vega, who said that we, we also need to, um, you know, focus really early on. You know, if you don't reach students even at that middle school level, you know, sometimes it's, it's too late. So, you know, we want to bring that conversation here as well. So the way this afternoon breaks out is I'm going to do my quick introduction and then I'll get out of the way to the people who know about education and energy to have that conversation. Um, but our first panel is going to focus on the challenges, opportunities, and lessons learned within the university world as, as well as community college. And then our second session, we'll have a break between the two panel sessions, and our second panel session will focus on educational opportunities and challenges within K through 12. And then at the end, we'll have a quick brainstorming session. We really want to figure out, you know, what are some of the conversations that that need to happen? You know, what do we need to be discussing within energy education? So we'll have a, a session around that. Now, I know there aren't, we're not filled to the brim here today, but you know, we are definitely recording this and we will have our audience with Z Prime is about 50,000 um, energy professionals. So we'll be recording this and making it available. So today we just really wanted to get that conversation started and get those discussions going. 
So that's all I have. So now I'm going to turn it over to Roger Alford, who is our Z Prime research manager. And if the panelists for the community college and universities would like to come up, that would be great. So please join me in welcoming them. <laughs> 